All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the exact differences between the infamous four valve B head and the four valve C head. So you guys know already that I'm going to be doing a C head swap. That's why I'm going to be showing you guys the differences in doing this. And uh, let's get into today's video. All right, so first things first, don't mind the uh, appearance of the B head. The B head just came off my motor, that's why it's all dirty. This C head just came out in a machine shop, that's why it has a, a freshly surfaced uh, bottom on it to attach to the block and make sure it seals properly. But um, I already measured out the intake and the exhaust port, and the intake port on both heads appear to be uh, one inch, 500 thousandths. So, same um, same intake port and the exhaust port is one inch 200 thousandths same port on each side so you might want to ask yourself well if they have the same valves what makes um, these heads different and what makes it worth it to swap over to the C head well if you want to break it down into numbers the real um, reason why you would want to swap over to this C head is because this B head was infamous for having a bad air to fuel mixture because of the way the air and fuel was introduced into the motor using intake manifold runners, the split port design, the two parts per cylinder, stuff like that. So um, when I turn it to the side, you'll be able to see what I mean. Uh, you have two, four, six, eight. So in one head, you have eight ports. And with the C head, all you have is four big ports. So that's already an advantage for air to fuel mixture. It's going to be better in the C head for sure, just because of this design. Also, um, the cams, I believe the cams profiles are also exactly the same. This is a C head from a 2003 Mercury Marauder. This is a B head from a 94 Lincoln Mark 8. So think about that difference from 94 to 2003 that's almost 10 years and they they still use the same cams the only motor that got a different cam would be the um 2003 and 4 cobra also the cobras that had the b head um got a different cam as well they got a different intake cam so the cobras and every other four valve motor all share the same exhaust cam they just have a different intake cam uh, like i said this design um, is definitely inferior to the C head and you can see why because obviously um, one of these ports I believe it's a circular port they have flaps over them the intake manifold runners and they would stay closed under low uh, throttle response so when you're cruising around they would stay closed which would help with gas mileage and then when you want them to open up they will um, when you go I believe it's above 30% throttle they will open up and give you full power uh, one thing I noticed after running this B head um, is that I was running it, I was running this B head motor off of a C head ECU and when it came out I noticed that we had a lot of lean conditions. Whenever you see a lot of this white stuff uh, on the tip of your um, spark plugs and on the exhaust ports it's very lean. So the motor was running extremely lean, but we actually had the same fuel pump, the same regulator on the C head, and it wasn't giving us that condition. So definitely the tones are gonna be different, and I never do recommend using a different ECU for a different motor, but that's all we had available to us. So hopefully swapping back to the C head, we could get that, um, that fuel mixture that the C head motor is looking for. And pretty much what I'm doing is um, I'm swapping the heads, um, opening up the ring gap on my um, piston rings and we're gonna run some boost but not sure if we're gonna run boost right away definitely after having some issues between the two heads or the two different motors I want to put this back in NA into my vehicle and I want to see how it runs and once it performs very well then we will start fabricating us a nice um, turbo kit for this thing so um, we already talked about the intake ports, we talked about the cams, now we're going to talk about these um, exhaust ports. I believe these exhaust ports are actually identical as well. Let's 
saying that. Or I'll just take out this caliper and I can verify for sure what size they are. All right, so I'm getting one inch, 200 thousandths on the C head and one inch, 100 thousandths on the B head. So extremely similar, um, not exactly the same, I would say, but then again, that could be from the built up carbon in this thing, why it's not measuring the same amount. Um, the massive, the biggest advantage you have when running a C head um, on a four valve motor is that the intake manifolds for the C heads are much better. They flow um, a lot more, I guess, I, I can't remember how, they, how do you exactly say it, but the way that the air to fuel ratio mixes, it's is much better than a, than a B head intake manifold. So cams are the same, intake, and exhaust cam for a B head and C head are identical unless you have a Cobra motor, your intake cam is going to be different from the Lincoln Mark 8 and the Marauders and the Mach 1s and you know anything of, of that nature. So only the Cobra got an intake cam upgrade. Um, we are not going to be running a, uh, a Cobra intake cam, we're just going to be running a the 2003 Marauder cams. Uh, also the rockers valve springs the retainers everything in the head is identical there's no need to swap those over when you do it you can just use anything from the b head put it straight inside the c head if that's what you want to do um so like i was saying the biggest advantage of running this c head over the b head is actually to get rid of this split port design that kills low end torque and it's just not good for a streetcar. Definitely um, only people that have seen power out of these heads have ported them and added a supercharger or a turbocharger. With the B head, it gives you 20 more peak horsepower up top and 20 more low end torque down low. That might not seem like a lot, especially for doing a C head swap because C head swaps are actually getting pricier. The heads, I believe the heads alone with no cams in them and stuff like that on eBay go for around 1200 bucks. I didn't pay that per se because I already had a C head motor. My motor went bad, but I actually saved the C heads themselves. So that's where I lucked out. I have a C head um, swap and I have a manifold, intake manifold to go along with it. All right guys, that's pretty much all the knowledge I have when it comes to B and C head swaps for the four valve 4.6 liter motor. Um, I want to give you guys some advice before you leave this video because if you logged onto this video you either have a 4 valve motor or a B head 4 valve motor and a lot of people have already chimed in whether it's worth it to swap these two motors if you have a B head they say it's better to port the, the exhaust ports on the B head and run some boost or if you have a C head motor it's just better to keep the C heads on it. Um, I actually am going to have a review video coming out in probably the next few months on whether it's worth it or not to C head swap your 4 valve motor. My purpose of swapping back to the C heads is that I had a C head motor, it went bad and I bought a B head motor by mistake. So for you guys to not make this mistake because I actually bought a B head motor thinking I could have just slapped my C head intake manifold on it and I was very very incorrect so I believe starting in 98 or 99 I'm not sure about the date but they started with the C heads on all 4V motors so if you want the upgraded motor and don't want to go through all the cost of actually buying a C head setup because you have to buy a head, you have to buy an intake manifold, you have to buy a fuel rail, you have to buy all the sensors to go with it. So it gets expensive really quick. Like I said, I got away because I actually already had a bad C head motor and I had the heads and the intake manifolds just laying around. So avoid buying a B head motor and I don't want to make it seem like B head motors are all bad. It's just that you're gonna have to boost it or add a supercharger to it or some type of nitrous or power adder um, just to make it feel somewhat similar to a C head motor. I can tell you from my experience, I had the actual Marauder that this motor actually came out of and that Marauder was moving. So to feel the difference between a C and a B head, yes, there is a massive difference. And the C head 
seems like it gets up and goes much better from low end like if you stomp it at a stop it, it just shoots off the b head seems a bit sluggish but the b heads up top and the c heads up top seem about the same so um it's your personal preference if you have a b head motor i would tell you to just run maybe 410s or 4.56 rear end gears and get yourself a turbo um to try to mitigate that um that low end torque that you're missing but if you already have a c head motor you can do those same upgrades four tens out of power out of to it and you should be good to go but that's all i have for you guys for today thank you guys so much for tuning in if this video helped you at all make sure to hit that like button if you like content like this make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss a video and always remember don't drift without your dreams and i'll catch you guys on the next one